from the heart. Hello and welcome back to Horror from the Heart. I'm Josh and today I want to kind of talk about horror in art. Now I know that a lot of the mediums that I've been talking about have their artistic value but I just mean art in general whenever I'm talking about this. I mean we see it in everyday type of stuff all over the place. There's plenty of companies that use it for like logos there's or advertisements and things like that. But there's also just in art in general. There's tons of art out there nowadays that has horror elements to it or people do specifically do things that is based in horror aspects. Now, horror in art has been around for a long, 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 long time. I mean, we're talking about way back in like the 1500s even because a lot of the art that was there during that time was more based off of like either biblical things or uh, it, was, it was supposed to represent meaning for certain things. Like you have uh, one of the more famous paintings from way back in the day was The Nightmare where it's like it's the lady, she's draped over this uh, kind of like countertop or, you know, bench or whatever you want to call it with like a demon sitting on top of her. You know, so there was like a lot of representation of hell and things like that. I mean, from like, you know, even with like representations from books and things like that to give more of an illustration of how some of that stuff was out there. But a lot of it was paintings and things like that, too. And it was more, like I said, a representation of morality in certain ways, you know, things that have happened to people because of their immorality. Now, some of those ones from way back in the day were absolutely horrendous and, and just downright eerie in a lot of different ways, too. And it was really, really great to see how some of that stuff went. You know, and there's been a lot of different uh, artists that are out there that have done horror-esque type of stuff. So, I mean, you go into, I wouldn't say modern, but close to modern. And you have artists like H.R. Uh, Giger. That are that's out there, you know. I mean, he's the reason why the aliens look like the way they do, you know. And he had a lot of kind of macabre and creepy kind of style the way he did his art, you know. It was very sexualized as well, but there was very, very much so a a nuance to it that was just creepy in a lot of different ways. But then you also have other different variations that are out there now. Whether you want to consider it or not, you know, you have like Tim Burton and then Tim Burton's style of the way he does his art. Now, he has done like art stuff kind of like that that he's put out there with his own, you know, representation of how he does it. But we get into like the more modern stuff and you don't really have a whole lot of people out there that are absolutely just famous for horror style art. But there's tons of horror art that's out there. I mean, we take the classic monsters that we have and people do amazing paintings with them or you have people that take the modern slasher villains and things like that and do great representations and it's anywhere from kiddish looking art to the realistic looking stuff as well i mean hell even the art that needs to be done for either the posters or box art and things like that for some of the movies or for covers of books and things like that people take the time to do that kind of stuff and it's really interesting to see how some of these people put a visual representation to their own horror and then you have other things out there where people do like little animated type of things on like youtube or something like that or make visual representations of like creepypasta stories and things like that too so people do tons of horror art now that also spreads into the whole thing of tattoos and it not really can say for sure, you know, uh, whether or not it was as popular way back in the day. But you know, as you have tons of people who do like horror tattoos, they love getting horror tattoos. Me myself, I I don't have one. Um, I have tattoos, but don't have a horror tattoo, and I don't, I'm surprised I don't honestly. Uh, I just couldn't ever really think of anything really good to get on myself as a representation for my love of horror, but tons of people do that kind of stuff i mean great landscapes of horrific type of stuff that's out there all the way down to you know just characters that are there 
and then there's tons of original creations that are out there that people use for tattoos you know which i always found really interesting you know and i always considered tattoos as part of being within that art world because you have an artist who is taking the time to actually put down that uh ink into somebody's skin you know it takes a lot of skill it takes a lot of dedication to do that kind of stuff you know but just as art just in general though there's tons of stuff that's out there now that's just like the different types of uh art that's out there as far as you know the horror world goes now if you look at like a lot of the old stuff compared to the way a lot of the newer stuff is done yeah we do a lot of stuff digitally nowadays you know people get out their little tablets and things like that and they'll paint something on a computer rather than do it physically on like a canvas there's still tons of people that do that kind of stuff or draw it out on paper and things like that but a lot of it's created digitally but to me, you look at a lot of the older horror art and it doesn't compare to the way the newer horror art is. I love a lot of the new horror art that's out there that people have done. And there's a lot of stuff that is absolutely haunting. But the styles compared to the old style is a lot different. There was a lot more realism to everything that was out there for the older stuff. I mean, the depictions of hell, the depictions of demons and things like that. It was like the Renaissance era of that kind of art and the way people did that kind of stuff was supposed to be more striking and more realistic in that way. And it was like dark and reddish brown tones and things like that. And the dedication that it took to do that kind of thing. And a lot of people thought people from that time of doing art like that were either crazy or heretics and things like that as well. You know, but that's a different story for a different time on certain things. You know, not everybody was represented like that and some, you know, some of the art out there was like, oh yeah, no, that's totally hell. You know, but there's tons of people out there who thought if you even dealt with any of that kind of stuff that you were a heretic and things. But the style, as I said, was more realism than it was nowadays where we do a lot of fantastical landscapes and fantastical creatures that are out there compared to based off of either religious uh, values or beliefs and things like that and it's more about deep-seated creatures like slender man there's tons of art out there of slender man or you get tons of stuff that's out there with freddy krueger or jason and michael myers or even Hellraiser, because Hellraiser is such a visually deep kind of uh, movie as far as the spectrum that you could actually go out into, you know, and that was a lot of uh, sexualized type of stuff too, but at the same time, there was a lot of representation as far as how people could spread out in that area, which really makes it kind of neat, you know. So th there's tons of different styles out there when it comes to horror art compared to the old stuff to the new stuff and i mean there's even a, like i said a lot of stuff that's either fun and whimsical you know people make uh chibi art out of a lot of the horror stuff that's out there too or they make it more kid friendly in certain ways there's even a lot of stuff nowadays where it is artistic in that way but it's made more for the teens and the kids and things like that too we do tend to try to include our children in a lot of that kind of stuff nowadays compared to how it was back in the day where it was more adult orientated for everything and again that's something i've kind of touched on before but with the way the world is it's just how it goes now I'm kind of curious as far as, you know, how, what you guys think as far as, like, some of the horror art that's out there. Do you like a lot of the older stuff better? Do you like a lot of the newer stuff that's been coming out? Do you guys have horror tattoos? If you do, what do you have? Um, are you planning on getting a horror tattoo? I'm really kind of curious. So if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment down below. Leave a like. If you're listening to this on podcast, then please leave me a review. Uh, share it if you can, please. Um, I very much appreciate everybody that's made it all the way to the end of this. You can also follow me on Twitter at HorrorFTH. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode.